Look, man, this truck is loaded. Like a grenade, and you think it's Australian. War and food, they do not mix. The Pirellis? What are they doing here? Dumbass! Make your man what the over it. You are in those people. Barbarians? What? Je suis désolé, madame, mais c'est you who are the barbarians. Nobody calls for trouble. The barbarians, rien du tout pas. You Americans, you are all the same, so do les mêmes. How little you know. La vraie culture hein? of real culture in the world. When we join with the Native Americans to fight against the British, you forget this. You American, you are all the same, huh? Nobody sit down for dinner anymore. That's because, hey, listen, listen to Richard, okay? I would rather eat contents of my toilet bowl after a fat man, hemorrhoids, who ate curry, than eat the shit most Americans serve. Who is on my phone now? Hi, my name is Indra. Wait, Dreary, would you rather eat the shit most Americans serve or the shit out of the toilet bowl? Excuse me? You heard me. I am the kind of woman who would date a vegetarian. Yeah, of course. I'm not prejudiced. Vegetarian meat? So-called meat-free meat? Okay, so listen, this is like a man who leaves a watermelon out in the sun so it feels like a woman. Why not make love to a woman? You're not Greek. What is it with the watermelon? I'm a married woman. I've got three kids. Kids? Kids? Are you a goat, maybe? I eat goat. Hmm? No, on the grass, Billy. Bah, maybe you eat carpet. You are insane and offensive. I just wanted to ask a question about the ethical way to eat meat. I'm absolutely terrified of factory farming. Those poor little chickens. Ah, no wonder your husband plays the field. But I'll tell you anyhow, okay? Mm, listen to Dick. Of course, it is brutal and nasty to buy your meat in a supermarket. The thing here in the studio, we have many pretty animals, a beautiful cow, some pigs, and dogs, some babies. Three missionaries are killed last week. But unfortunately, life is nasty and brutish. Oh, look out there. This beautiful cow, Daisy, is heavily pregnant. Oh, amazing. Oh, she's giving birth right into my pan. It's really amazing. Oh, meat. The meat is so tender. Here, Daisy. I'm sorry. Is that you going to eat your baby? Poor Daisy. Oh, maybe poor Daisy wants to be mince meat, huh? 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 Maybe she has not got a choice. What are you going to say now, vegetarian? You are weak and I am strong. This cow was a vegetarian. She eat like the hay. I think I make muscles feel. Let's take a quick break while I drink some of this mess up. Ooh, it's fresh. Hey, baby, what's up? Hey, let me get you a little something. Hey, bartender, couple beers right here. You better get that 40 ounce ball look away from me. I need some real romance. Getting late. But it just got a little easier with Chateau de Buff. The continental, sophisticated, and oh so good way to get her shit faced and sorry. Oh, I feel like I'm a girl. Got some cheese for this shit? It's a perfect companion to the table or nightstand. Grab a bottle, smell the corn, sniff the contents, and look instantly civilized. It's the wine that merges sophistication and nuance with complex and satisfying results. Oh, this wine's delicious. Let's call it our samples. Chateau de Buff. LCFR. It's community radio with more syndicated content. Welcome back and bienvenue encore. You're on Cock and Van with me, Richard. Oh, baby, I'm so pissed at you. What are you talking to? Your trousers? Don't stop pulling all these animals. Oh, man, but also the right one. 
So, anyway, Crow, tell me about the Crow Fest 98. Well, it was a little idea that grew very big. I had to bring world music and rock and roll and charity to keep it at your ride. Saving the world through yoga, rock.